Hey guys, long time no see. I'm, I'm doing one of these today just because I've spent the last half an hour uh, doing something amazing and I want to share it with you guys, or at least I want to tell you all about it. I spent the last half an hour picking up poop. Yeah, because of these guys right here. There's one pooper. Where the heck is the other one? By the way, look at this grass. Look at, focus. This grass, man, back there is great because it's nice and green. They don't pee there, but this is where they pee and they destroy grass. If you're thinking about getting a dog, and you have grass in your yard and you love your grass, don't get a dog because this will happen. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could take them across the street uh, to the park to pee every time they need to, but that's like four or five times a day each and they never go at the same time. I guess I could train them. Never mind. This, this is what happens. There's the other one. Hi. Hey, come here. What are you doing, huh? Are you up to, you up to no good? She's always up to no good. Um, I have a little bit of an issue here. So first of all, this is my garage. Uh, this car, I'm having some issues. So this car's actually fine. I gotta, I think it's the battery. Like ever since I got it, the battery didn't sound too strong when I try to start it. And now it doesn't start at all. It barely turns the starter over. So I'm hoping it's the battery. I'm gonna head to the store later today and get a brand new battery, pop it in and see what happens. And then this cardboard, man, this is still from my move. Like I try, you guys have no idea. I try to get rid of as much as possible, as often as possible. I still have this much left, so right now, after the poop picking up, I uh, my goal is to get these all broken down and, and get maybe about that much into my recycling bin, which is down there, and hopefully, when recycle day comes along, more of it will be gone. All those loose boxes have been broken down. I think that's about all I'm gonna put um, in here today because I still have like, the weekly recyclables to go in here. So I got to leave a little bit of room. There's there's that much room. So yeah, and I still have that much cardboard right there. Right? Yeah, it's a never ending struggle with cardboard. Gonna try to get this battery out. The guy who had this car before me, he, I don't know if you can tell, he beat the crap out of these uh, battery cable things. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to even get that out I might have to actually just unhook it from here and just remove the whole thing all together because that is not looking like a good time but look at this battery though look how old it looks looks like this might have been leaking if it definitely feels a little bit um like battery fluid danger poison yeah so that's my project for the next few minutes the battery's out I did it I am such a great mechanic what does this say does this have the date of the actual battery on it I don't think so. Hmm. Just wonder if it is the battery, because other than like the top here, and I don't even know if this is battery acid up top. It could just be like rusty water or something, but I want to buy a new battery anyway and see what happens. Um, and I was able to get these cables off without having to disconnect them at the source here. It's going to be probably a little bit tough to get them on the new battery, but we'll see. I'm off to the store now to get a battery. So I have an important decision to make right now. Um, I either go to Canadian Tire where they have batteries or I go to Parts Source where they have a lot more batteries. So uh, the chances of finding a battery that fits better in my in my slot <laughs> uh, are a lot higher if I go to Parts Source. However, Parts Source is a little bit far away. So I think I'm gonna take my chance and go to Canadian Tire, especially since I have a uh, very low gas. Look at that, we had an eighth. An eighth, sorry, one, one, two, a quarter. Oh, a quarter of a tank. That's, that's actually not that bad. I'm still going to Canadian Tire though. And check out that temperature for uh, Toronto this year. It's pretty good. Hasn't been that warm this year. It's been very, very rainy too. happens in Canada. So many choices. Uh, I think the one we want is right here. I think that's the one. It's, I think it's an inch too wide, but I'm pretty sure I had the space in my battery box. All right, battery, you better be the problem because I don't feel like taking the car to a shop. Well, um, this is too short. Yeah, see the old battery had the, uh, the terminals here on this side and it was easier to connect. This cable is too short and if I flip it around, I won't be able to connect the negative to the negative side because the negative side will end up being over here. So, 
Um, hmm, I don't know. I might have enough cable here to stretch the negative. Oh boy, we'll see, we'll see. Well, I've confirmed it's the battery. So what I did was I took out the old battery. I got my little cables here. I, w I couldn't have done this with my other cars because, well, I could have, but it would just been a lot of work. So I figured I'd buy a new battery anyways. Uh, it definitely needs a new battery. This battery is smoked. So I just connected my uh, jumper cables to the battery here and the old battery's back in. It's not secured yet, but I'm just, you know, running the car for a little bit so the battery charges and then I'm gonna go for a little cruise. So at least I know it's just the battery, nothing serious, thank goodness. So I don't think I ever told you guys officially about this car, at least not on YouTube, I did it on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you have no idea, but I sold the Mercury that I bought not long ago because it was gonna require a whole lot more money than I was willing to spend to repair it. And then I bought this, much more expensive than the Mercury, but it's a two-door, so it's got more value. It's a 63 Ford Galaxy, has a 390 in it, um, and it's awesome. It really is. It has no seat belts, which is amazing. There are zero seat belts in here. <laughs> uh, hopefully I never get pulled over, but I'm pretty sure they can't ticket me because it was actually an option in 63. So uh, the owner chose not to, uh, to go with that option, but the interior is in pretty good shape. It's got a few dash cracks here and there, but it's really not bad at all. The car is in excellent, excellent condition. I really love driving. It's like floating down the road. But anyway, yeah, that's this is my new ride. I still have the MG. It's at my parents' place in the garage. I'm still not sure if I'm, I'm still not sure if I want to sell it, but I'm definitely not selling this. This is my favorite car to drive right now. All right, the battery's all fastened. Don't worry, I did it with the car off. <laughs> there is a large spinning blade right there that I'm a little bit worried about. Uh, but anyway, battery's all fastened up. Gonna go for a little cruise, and I'll be back in a second. <laughs> I know this is super dangerous, but I'm going 20 kilometers an hour and it's at a stop sign, so it's not that big a deal. lunch i think i'm gonna make pizza which i haven't made in a long time saturday is kind of like my cheat day i've definitely been watching my uh watching my caloric intake i'm down about 35 pounds in the last two and a half three months which is pretty good first month was crazy though i lost a whole lot of weight but uh, i'm gonna have a pizza today but it's gonna be small and i'm probably only gonna have half and maybe even like a little bit of a salad with it so uh, maybe save the half for later but yeah that was great i hadn't done that cruise in a long time i'm super excited that the car is running again <laughs> It was that that battery doesn't hold a charge. I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to put that other one in, which means I have to buy some new cables, longer cables, which is a little bit more than I wanted to do today. So we're just gonna roll with the way it is right now. And then once I get back from Portugal, from my vacation, because I'm going on vacation to Portugal uh, in maybe a couple less than a couple weeks. Once I get back, then I'll handle all that stuff. Shout out to Mr. Scary Muffin who hooked the brother up with. NHL 18 beta um, on my Xbox One. So I'm kind of excited. I've played the NHL 3s before and it's actually a whole lot of fun. It's really like an arcade, fast paced sort of three on three thing. Uh, there's an online versus that which I haven't tried. I haven't tried the EA Sports Hockey League. Obviously all the settings are not, or all the game modes are not available yet because this is just the beta, but, um, but it's still awesome to get early access to it anyway. So thank you so much, Mr. Scary Muffin, the best and scariest muffin around. The score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. I like to randomize teams, so I actually ended up with the Rangers. But anyway, the pizza's done. And look at it, it's such a tiny little pizza. It's a tiny pizza and it's all veggies. This can't be that bad for me, can it? Nah. I won! I'm really good at hockey. <laughs> Seven nothing, final score. Not bad, right? The NHL 3s is actually pretty fun. You suck, Dallas Stars. Yeah! Oh, he's dancing. Derek Stepan was dancing. There's the final goal, I think. Oh no, this is just the replay of all the goals I scored. This one was pretty. 2-1-0. I guess it wasn't that pretty. And then this is the final one. It was kind of a breakaway. 
and I just roofed it. Beautiful. Oh, and each goal is worth like a different um, amount. So the first goal is worth two, the second goal is worth three, and I think the last goal is worth two goals, so that's how I won seven nothing. Anyway, yeah, that was fun. Well, I'm on my third shirt change today. So the first one was the shirt I slept in. The second one got all uh, sweaty and gassy. <laughs> Not gassy, it smelled like gas because I was fiddling around with the car. And now I took a, just took a shower and uh, changed into another shirt. And my sister just called me and she wants me to head over there with the galaxy so that she can have a little photo shoot for my, uh, my niece, Isla. She's turning one and my sister likes to do like the whole Instagram thing where you like set up photos and stuff. It's actually kind of cute. But anyway, uh, I'm going to have to hop back in the galaxy, head over there so we can get a little photo shoot done for my niece. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, third shirt, huh? Third shirt. Let's see how many I can go through today. It's going to be amazing. Look at this. The photo shoot is in session. Her cake smash birthday, is it? Yeah. Cake smash. Oh, she's okay. She's really going to smash it. Yum. Look at you. Is it good? Is it good? Yeah, it sure is. Save some for me, please. We got some pretty good pictures. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Isla. Isla. Hey, are you excited about your photo shoot? <laughs> nice laugh. Yeah, we got some good ones over here. It was pretty messy, so she's had a, an outfit change already, but um, pretty good stuff. Good job, Isla. You're a natural. Look at these goofballs. Look at these goofballs. Ah, there's one. I don't know where the other one is. Guys, I'm actually home now. Um, I've actually been recording. Oh, my reflection. Luckily, I'm wearing shorts and nothing. <laughs> which sometimes happens. I'm home now. I've been recording something for the last two hours, which I think you guys are going to enjoy quite a bit. Uh, there's a little bit of a break now. <laughs> I don't want to give away too much. I don't know where Daisy is. Hi, Poops. Where's your sister? Daisy, where are you at? Anyway, there's like a, a little bit of a break now and I gotta go back to recording, so I'm just gonna have a little bit of dinner. It is now seven o'clock, I'm gonna have a little dinner and then I'm going to resume recording and then I'll probably put this video up, maybe, if I have time. If not, you'll see it tomorrow, which will be Monday. But anyway, yeah. Poops, you wanna say hello? Oh, look at your nose, buddy. You gotta put some cream on that thing, yeah. Oh my goodness, okay, I'm finally done for the day. I actually got a lot of work done today, which I'm super proud of. I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately, and I don't know, it's just, uh, it's just, mm, I'm not feeling it lately. You know, it's been kind of a tough year for me, let's be honest, <laughs> uh, but it's turning around. It actually is turning around very, very nicely. Uh, maybe I'll tell you guys more about that soon. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this uh, vlog, I guess. Hope you enjoyed it, did a lot of different things today, got some stuff accomplished. You guys met, I, I think you guys had seen Isla before anyway, she's adorable. And my car, and you guys, yeah, it was it was a good vlog. <laughs> it was a good vlog. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll try to do another one on Tuesday because I think Tuesday's gonna be another busy day for me. Um, Monday, I don't think I'm doing too much, so nothing really vlog worthy. That's it, bye-bye.